Hello everybody, it's an original artist here, and today we're going to do a quick sheet pen tutorial for you all. So, I've had a few people mention that they have issues making sheet pens properly, that they don't know a great way to do it. A few people have ideas on how to kind of make one, but at the same time, sheets still get out. So, I'm going to show you the prettiest one. Along with, well, it does work with other materials such as Adobe or Property Fence. But this one is just fence kits. To make a fence kit, you have to use a steel adds on two shafts. Okay. Let's see here. So use stakes, and to place the fence kit you need a shovel, so you put the shovel on the stakes, and you have that there. Now. The way I do it, I never put in corners, because <laughs> to me it just is it's easier. Okay, so we have a started fence. So Now you need these little corner areas right here to keep the sheep from getting out. And you also need like a berry bush right here, but you need this corner area as well, which is what a lot of people are saying that they don't ever seem to do. Now I just make a straight up corner. See? And so you need the corners here tilled and to put berry bushes there.
Now the reason why we're putting berry bushes in the corners like this is so you can walk through them and it's also not a tile that the sheet can stand on. And this corner tile here keeps them from basically going like that. They'd have to go around it. And just the way sheep move, they can't really go around things easily. Now it's best to have sheep food prepared before you go out to get the sheep, which is Basically take a full bowl of gooseberries, see, gooseberries and then add a carrot to it. Now, I'm going to show you how to get sheep. Now, you have to go to... A mountain range, a mountain biome, just the gray biome, and you have to find a mooflin, I believe it's how it's called, pronounced, I don't know, mooflin, mooflon, flon, whatever. Now we might have issues finding it, because this place is pretty picked over. You want to make sure your food is high when you first go out to get the sheep too because you do not want to drop the baby sheep at all. Do not drop the sheep. This might take a while. Here we are. The sheep. Now, sheep have a transition right here. This is the transition where it has a baby sheep on it. Make sure your food is high before you shoot it. There it is. Now, like I said, make sure your food is high before you grab the baby sheep because you can't drop it, otherwise you can't pick it back up. Now when you drop the sheep, you gotta be kind of quick. Not too, too quick, but like, at least enough that it won't starve. Like that. And it'll grow up into a domestic mouflon, and then it'll start birthing out babies which you feed the same way. And then you'll have domestic sheep, the ones that look like freaking cotton balls.